This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Crosstalk has a party game for four or more players where they'll be split up into a black team and a blue team. Each team has one clue giver. Both clue givers on opposite teams are trying to get the selected keyword to be guessed by their team. Both clue givers also get to give a secret clue that only their team will be able to see. Then alternating turns, the clue giver for that team will give a clue, but the trick is the other team gets to guess, so you need to be subtle. This goes back and forth as the team gives the clue, the other team gets to guess, and if they don't want to guess, they can pass, and this continues through the, the most of five different guesses. And the clue givers get another trick up their sleeve. They can give their team another secret board, which will tell them to maybe ignore certain clues, maybe a future clue, maybe to combine the last player's guess with my next clue, maybe to emphasize certain things in different ways to throw the other team off and to help your own team. And the first one to get it right gets a point. First one of five points wins. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Crosstalk is an absolutely special party game that gave me the same feelings I got when I played Codenames, which was, wow, this game is amazing. I think it does excellent in two realms. One, in the party game genre with non-gamers without the extra advanced board. I've heard from wives of gamers that have said they've liked this better than Codenames because they thought it was easier, because typically they're in a group the harder side is guessing the clues and you're together and you're not on the spot. Where giving the clues is awesome, but it's even better as a gamer game, I think, because once you add that extra board, you can do all sorts of crazy things like ignore my next clue or take the last guess of the other team and combine it with my next clue or do the opposite of this. And it just adds a layer of depth that is absolutely amazing in this game. It's such a fun team word party game. It's one of the best party games I've ever played. It's up there with code names and I still love it. I've played it a ton since then and I still have not met a person who wasn't in with the game after we played it, and that's Crosstalk. This video was sponsored by Miniature Market's Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com.